Hello, potato. It's time for the most important meal of the day. It's breakfast time. And today we're going to focus on Pop-Tarts. But not just any Pop-Tarts. Pop-Tarts brand cereal and new Pop-Tarts pretzel. Both cinnamon sugar and chocolate. Sweet and salty. Mm -mm. So since these are going to take a little bit of time to cook, let's get one of those going now. We'll start with the cinnamon sugar because that's the one that's least the most like what you would normally get on a pretzel, right? So they don't, they don't look at uh, first, at least particularly different than normal Pop-Tarts. Okay, yeah, they do. Instead of a frosting, you have this kind of wrinkly, shriveled uh, exterior. Will they both fit in here? I have right here the world's tiniest toaster oven. And no, they're not gonna both fit. So we'll do, we'll do our cinnamon and sugar one first while we do the cereal. Now, yeah, there's no, there's no instructions for a toaster oven as far as time. It does say to do it at the lowest temperature. Well, this only has one temperature and that's on. Let's put it for, I don't know, five minutes and we'll keep an eye on it. So what do we got in here? Your toaster just got hotter. Sweet and salty pretzel equals mind, period, blown, period. Um, hopefully it's just your mind and not your stomach. What do we have in this? Uh, flour, sugar, soybean and palm oil, corn syrup, dextrous, high fructose corn syrup, of course. Bleached wheat flour contains 2% or less of the following, molasses, salt, wheat starch, cinnamon, all these cinnamons in there somewhere. Uh, these are 390 calories for two of them. Luckily, we're just gonna go with one, although I'm gonna have one out of this packet as well. So I suppose that will make the full 390. All right, so while that hopefully doesn't burn, uh, let me know if you see some smoke coming out of there because we don't wanna, we don't wanna, well, I can smell it. It does smell like pretzel. This thing heats up pretty fast. I got this for Christmas. Um, originally I was thinking, you know, take this to work and like just make little toasted sandwiches at my desk at break because I have a tiny desk. But you know, my tiny desk is so tiny that I actually don't have room for this on it. And I'm pretty sure somebody would object if I started cooking things at my desk. There are people who cook whole buffets in our microwave, but, but not actually at the desk, not the cooking. We'll let it go for a couple minutes and let's take a look at our cereal. So you may have noticed in the past, I've done some filled cereals before. I did uh, Fillos, which were overly sweet. And the cinnamon ones in particular left a, a really oily film in my mouth. And before that I did Crave, which I actually liked. And I do still occasionally buy. I actually just picked some up uh, yesterday when we went and did our shopping. Um, and that was a trip. So when I'm filming this, uh, probably about a week before it's going to come out, we are in the m just, oh, it's starting to turn brown. We are just in the beginning of the, uh, of the COVID-19, like being taken seriously and places are being shut down. Don't worry, my office isn't being shut down, but lots of places are. We'll let that cool a bit and we'll start on the chocolate one. So we did our, you know, went to our shopping yesterday. And uh, yeah, I mean, it wasn't, it wasn't like, you know, there wasn't anything on the shelves. There's still plenty of food out there. But yeah, toilet paper was gone. People were buying all the bottled water they could. We didn't really do any of that. We have enough toilet, I mean, we'd buy more toilet paper if we could find it, but we have enough for a couple of weeks if we have to self quarantine. And you know, I've got some stuff to do a couple different videos just in case. Uh, other than just Lego, I'm gonna have plenty of Lego. We could, we could do Lego for months, but I know you guys don't seem to like those. You guys seem to prefer me eating horrible, horrible foods or opening Treasure X King. So here's our chocolate one. Um, as you can see, compared to our cinnamon sugar, it's got a chocolate swirl on it instead of a, a little white swirl. And this actually looks a little more uniform in color. I mean, it's still got some of that, which I think is what browned over there so quickly. But yeah, let's pop that in. I brought tongs because I'm not burning myself today. 
but I am getting crumbs everywhere. There's our chocolate one in. So I hope, uh, I hope you are all doing well. I hope nobody is sick. And if you are sick, you're getting that mild version of it. They say that most of us will. And I hope you get better. All right, let's, let's start. That's enough current events, which are already not current because I'm in mean, a week from now, who knows when I actually go to post this, who knows what the situation will be. I have crumbs all over the tablecloth. All right, strawberry Pop-Tart cereal. Unleash ridiculous levels of Pop-Tart flavor with filling and frosting in every bite because in case you were worried the cereal wasn't going to be sweet enough, we got frosting as well as filling. Happiness is both, I can read. Happiness is frosting on both sides. Fact, sprinkles make everything more fun. Whoa, there's a lot of flavor in those layers. Journey to the center of the crunch and wow filling. Ever dream of the tiny crunchy Pop-Tarts? Pinch yourself, it's real life. A whole bunch of delicious lives in here. That's a lot of crap on here, isn't there? So speaking of the crap on the box, what's the crap in the box? Well, the number one ingredient is whole wheat flour, then sugar, and strawberry flavored filling, which contains apples. Uh, oh, strawberry puree concentrate. There's actually strawberry in our strawberry item. Whole grain, oat flour, rice flour, oat flour, 2% less, yada yada. Has turmeric extract for color. That makes it healthy, right? That's all the thing now. All right, let's pop these little bad boys open. Come on. I hate when they have these bags that just stretch instead of pulling apart. Because I think we're going to call you. Yeah, let's go a little bit more. So these cook really fast. I hope they're cooking in the center. I'm sorry. I'm all over the place, aren't I? All right. Let's pour us. Um, well, they're, I'm going to say they're about the same size as Crave. Come on. Out of the box. Everybody out. Who made Crave? Was that... Was that Kellogg's? I think it was Kellogg's. I will probably put some text down here saying who it was. Because like I said, I do have a box of it in the other room. Who made this? I usually say that. This is Kellogg's too. So if that's Kellogg's and this is Kellogg's, then hopefully this will be similar to the Kellogg's Crave. All right, what do we got here? Oh, it's a kind of similar in size. Um, not in texture. It's got like a rough, craggly outer texture. Let's, let's crack one open. Well, they don't so much crack as just crumble. Um, there's some filling. There, here's, there's our filling. A little bit of red filling. Mm. Yeah, tastes like candy strawberry. All right, so here we go. We have today's completely imbalanced breakfast. Just, just add milk, because milk makes it healthy, right? Because it's 150 calories without milk, but it's 210 with milk for approximately one cup, which that probably is a little more than a cup, isn't it? Milk, 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 milk. All right. Let's get a nice, hopefully, thumbnail worthy view here. Because, you know, YouTube is really weird at what it picks for your, uh, your thumbnail. All right. Well, let's let the milk soak into that, but let's, let's crack into these and see what we have here. So this was our cinnamon and sugar one. Let's move over. So I'm in the center of the screen. There we go. And our chocolate one, which yeah, maybe that should come out a little bit earlier. It's a little darker on the edge. As they say on Bake Off, caught a little bit of color. All right, so. Just looks like a normal Pop-Tart in the middle, just very, uh, very thin layer of filling, which is usually more than enough anyways. Let's try it. It's 
very dry. Mm. Very dry. So it doesn't, it doesn't taste really like a normal pop tart, but it kind of does at the same time. It does taste, it tastes like a cinnamon sugar pop tart, but, but not. I am good with words. Um, there's only a hint of pretzel. I kind of expected a very pretzely flavor. I'm not really getting the salt at all. I, mean, I can see the salt on it. Less than 2%. Um, that was on our sodium, anyways. 24% of your daily sodium. So that less than 2% of salt apparently is still quite a bit. Let's try our chocolate. Let's do a smaller bite of the chocolate, I think. Because this is the one I think could, could taste weird, because, I mean, you know you do, you do chocolate-covered pretzel sticks and stuff, but... I don't know, a chocolate fill, chocolate on a hot pretzel I wouldn't do. At least I wouldn't until now. And here we have our chocolate one. I'm not gonna eat the whole thing this time. Again, still quite dry, definitely. Definitely have when you're having your, your balanced breakfast, which to make this balanced, would probably look like the buffet at a nice hotel. Um, make sure you have some milk or some coffee or something or some orange juice to go with that. I have orange juice in the fridge. I should have had some. All right. Yeah, those are passable. I mean, it's not... I thought those could really potentially be bad. Just because, I mean... There's a... Uh, words. Um... Toaster pretzel just seemed like a potentially bad idea to me. But they're not bad. They're also not great. I mean, if you're going to get Pop-Tarts, I guess when they're on clearance because they're being discontinued, maybe get some? Because I don't see these sticking around. Um, they're edible. They're not offensive. They're definitely not like KFC chicken donut sandwich. They're not... Um, They're not words. I haven't had my coffee yet. Can you tell? They're not Sour Patch Kids. That's the word I was looking for. Sour Patch Kids. All right. Let's try these. Let's try. Mm -hmm. Want a bite? No, you don't want a bite of this. Well, not as sweet as Philo's, which is good. The strawberry is not overpowering. It just kind of tastes like a sweetened cereal with just, just a little hint of a strawberry in the middle. I kind of thought there'd be a bigger strawberry flavor, but of course, remember when I broke one open, the inside looked nothing like that. There was very much less filling evident in there than is shown in the picture, which, in, you know, that's, that's, I think that's okay. Um, I think eating a whole bowl of this might get a little overpowering on the sweetness. But yeah, it's not awful. I don't think, I don't know if I'd buy it again. But then I'm not a huge fan of strawberry. If they had other flavors, other flavors I might try. Don't know what though, because I, I kind of don't like the fruit flavored ones. I usually always when I get Pop-Tarts, which is fairly rarely. It's usually cinnamon sugar because that's what's most easily available. I liked s'mores ones when I was a kid, but they are kind of overpoweringly sweet now. You know, like when you get older, you like like less sweet things for the most part. You like your uh, your dark chocolates and, and more your bitters and your sours, I think. Although I guess, I guess sour was a big deal when I was young too, with uh, sour brights and super lemons and of course, um, Sour Patch Kids, those have been around forever. So yeah, overall, um, nothing terribly exciting here. Nothing, nothing to gross me out. My stomach isn't going to totally resent me for eating these. I just realized something after the fact. 
as I tend to do. So I'm going to splice this on in here. I'm not going to stick it at the end this time because I've been doing that and I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to splice this in and do it before the ending. And I realized that a lot of people don't actually toast their Pop-Tarts. Um, I mean, to the point that it was actually a joke in Ash vs. Evil Dead. There was a whole running gag for a couple episodes there about the idea that Pop-Tarts are even good if you think to actually toast them. So let's try them untoasted. Maybe that makes a difference. I mean, they certainly look different untoasted. They do kind of get that pretzel look down. That's that one a little burnt. They got the pretzel look down, I think, on the skin, kind of. It does look like a pretzel, even if it doesn't really taste like a pretzel. But let's, uh, let's shear off a bit to try... Well, I guess just cut it in half again so I can get some of the filling. There's no, never any filling around the edges. Try it uncooked. See if that makes any difference. I still didn't bring a napkin this week, but I did bring knives. And I've got crumbs everywhere now. All right, so let's try it uncooked. Get a good amount of filling in there. The cinnamon one. You know, that might be better. It's got some, I mean, maybe this just cooks too hot. I don't know, I'll maybe try it in like a proper toaster, but. It's not as dry that way. Um, that might actually be an improvement. Let's try our chocolate. It still just basically tastes like the cinnamon brown sugar pop tart, just with a slightly different crust. It doesn't taste pretzely like at all to me. Well, I got salt that time. Lots of salt that time, so I guess your mileage may vary. I'm talking about mouth mouthful. Oh, wow, that, wow, that's a lot of salt there. So I guess your mileage may vary depending on where you are eating. Um, yeah, definitely got salt on that one. All right, so let's, uh, let's rate these things. All right, this is, um... I don't know. Uh, I'm going to say of the three things here, probably going to go with um, the cinnamon sugar pretzel pop tarts as the best item, then the cereal, and then finally the chocolate pretzel. And that's largely based on just the mouthful of salt I just had, just to be fair. None of these are offensive. And I'm probably repeating myself from something else that's already in the first part of the video that this is going to cut back to or cut from. But, yeah, nothing offensive here. All right, let's 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 go back to the end of the video, which I've already recorded, but you haven't seen yet. Um, but yeah, these are, these are acceptable. These are food. What's that word? These are cromulent. These are absolutely cromulent things that you can eat. They're not great. They're not awful. They're not going to be something that I remember six months from now. Unless I'm going back and doing another filled cereal video or for some reason doing more Pop-Tart stuff. Um, and I'd say I don't, I don't see myself doing that, but I didn't see myself doing this. I actually was planning to do, uh, try to find another filled cereal to go with the Pop-Tarts. And then I saw these and I saw, you know, that we may need to quarantine in place for a couple weeks. So got to get stuff for videos. Because that's what's important. While you are at home, hiding from the rest of the world, hoping that you don't get sick, it's a great time to get on YouTube and marathon your favorite uh, YouTube hosts, guests, YouTubers. I guess YouTubers is the term, right? And then when you're done, done marathoning your favorites, then you can marathon me. Have yourself a little void binge. All right. I think that'll wrap this up. We've been going long enough. And I've been rambling. I do that a lot recently, don't I? A lot of these videos are a lot of me rambling. But, uh, yeah. So I hope you are all well. Uh, please remember to like, subscribe, follow me on Instagram, at Void of Intelligence. Tell your friends, tell your enemies. 
leave nice comments. Keep bad ones to yourself. And, um, yeah, stay well. And I will hopefully see you in the next video.